Hi folks, welcome to today's Coffee and Colossians. Um, we are Colossians chapter 1 verse 13, for he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness. Now the dominion of darkness, what do we mean by that? Well, I've got my paper here that I was just reading and um, the headline, we're budgeting for difficult times. This is rich Australia. Uh, we're seeing things like the master chef, Guy from Scotland, Jocks on Freelo, who was commit, committed suicide, is dead. Um, there's an article on why you're not allowed to smack. Uh, there's a whole load of questions and comments about lifestyle uh, and families being put under pressure because of financial pressures. There's uh, oh, a crocodile attack. Somebody died from a crocodile attack. Uh, the fireys, that's firefighters, quitting because of a bullying culture. Uh, police predators, comment about that. Mayhem on the streets of France. Russia paying a heavy price for the nuclear war. Uh, fears of exodus from Sudan. Uh, oh, just America on the brink of default. The Google scientist who quits over AI risks. Uh, what else have we got? Reason and logic take a back seat in an era of emotions. Historical pivot in US strategy singles new danger era. Do you need convinced that we live in a time of great darkness? I, I, I don't think we do. And basically, there's always been darkness on the earth. Yesterday, we were looking at light and the light shines up in the darkness. I'm thinking about... Let me just go to Isaiah. There are so many verses that we could use. You know, hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Well, Isaiah 60. Arise, shine for your light as clumb, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. That's what we saw. And then this. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the people. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. I think the world without God is darkness. You know, I've just been reading Victor Hugo's Les Miserables. Now, it's such a brilliant book. Uh, I actually love the musical, been, went to see it. The film was okay. But compared with the book, they are utterly, utterly trivial. Because the book goes into great detail. It's a massive book. I mean, 800 odd pages but about the human condition and human nature and about redemption and really about the gospel and about God. And I think out with the kingdom of Christ, there is no light. The devil is darkness. It talks about him having dominion, authority over us. And we need to be delivered from that evil power. That's why we pray, deliver us from evil. Um, this is your hour. The devil is told, Luke twenty two fifty three, 53, when darkness reigns, the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard and the elders who came from them, they were all following the prince of darkness. And that great darkness came over the land at the crucifixion of Christ. There's another verse, uh, Acts 26, uh, 18. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, Acts 26, 18. I will rescue you from your own people from the Gentiles. I'm sending you to them to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place those who are sanctified by faith in me. That's Paul telling King Agrippa what Christ had called him to. To open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light. Well... Without Christ, you live in the kingdom of darkness. Our world is a kingdom of darkness. We are to be the children of light, those who follow Christ, and we are to live as children of the light. We are not under the dominion of darkness. And again, I just think that is a, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Great is the darkness that covers the earth. But come, Lord Jesus. Um, do you know what? I think I'll play this song uh, as we go out today and hopefully see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye. 
Ooh.